welcome back. This is the second video for lesson 3.8. So if you haven't watched the first video, you need to go do that. For example three, we're going to use a graphing calculator to find the inverse of A, then use the calculator to verify your result. Now, you can find um, the inverse of a three by three matrix by hand, but it's unpleasant and we might as well use the calculator to do this for us. All right, so first thing you're going to need to do is put this matrix in your calculator. So you're going to go to the scratch pad and you want to select the button right next to the nine button and it's the one that you would use to get a fraction. You're also going to use that to create a matrix. And if you'll look on the second row of entries, there's several matrix entries there. The one you want is the one that is the three by three, because that's the one that you can manipulate the number of rows and columns. Um, we do happen to want a three by three, so that's going to make life easy, but we can tell it whatever kind of matrix we want. So once you click on that, you're going to get um, a little menu that has number of rows, number of columns, the default there is three by three. That's what we want. So you just press OK. And there you go. You have a little matrix there. And you enter each number in the corresponding part. So across the first row, you want to do two, one, negative two. And then arrow down to the second row. You want to do five, three, zero. And then you want to do four, three, eight. Then you want to click outside the matrix. Okay, once you get all those entered, Okay, see right now I'm inside the matrix. Next thing I want to do is click outside the matrix and then notice that the, the key that's highlighted here, the red key there, is the caret key. That's the one that allows you to put in something as a superscript, okay, like an exponent. And then you want to do negative 1. So remember the negative key is the one with the little parentheses around it, not minus, but the negative. And then you want to do 1. So there it is, and then press enter. And your calcula calculator will give you your inverse. Okay, so the inverse is 12, negative 7, 3, negative 20, 12, negative 5, 3 halves, negative 1, 1 half. Now, we can use our calculator to verify our result by doing A times A inverse or A inverse times A. You can either go back and re-enter the calculators themselves or you can use the cut and paste feature. Just like you cut and paste on um, in documents, it's the same thing. Control um, C will, will let you copy and then Control V will let you paste. And so that's what I did. I just cut and pasted the original A, and then I did cut and paste it, and then I did times and cut and pasted A inverse. If that gets frustrating for you, just keep, just do two new three by three matrices like I showed you before, and enter the elements of A, and then enter the elements of A inverse. Now, when I press enter. I should get the three by three identity matrix if I have found A inverse. If I get anything else and I haven't found A inverse. Yay, when I press enter, I get one zero 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 one zero 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 one. That is the identity matrix for a three by three matrix. So I have done that problem correctly, which is always exciting. Okay. Now, um, we're gonna do an inverse matrix to solve linear systems. So let's go find those examples. Our first step is going to be to write the system as a matrix equation, AX equals B. The matrix A is the coefficient matrix. We did coefficient matrices last class period, so that shouldn't be a problem. X is the matrix of variables, and B is the matrix of constants. Then you're going to find the inverse of matrix A, and then multiply each side of AX equals B by A inverse on the left to find the solution x equals a inverse times b. Okay, so let's do this. So for 2x minus 3y equals 19, x plus 4y equals negative 7, first thing we want to do is set up that matrix equation. So we want the coefficient matrix, which is a, so 2, negative 3, 1, 4. The 1 comes from the plain x because it has a coefficient that's understood to be 1. And then our matrix of variables is x, y. That's always a little column matrix. And that equals the matrix of constants, so 19, negative 7. 
All right, so then we need to find A inverse. So that's going to be 1 over the product of 4 times 2, so 8, minus negative 1 times 3, so negative 3. 8 minus negative 3 is 11, so we've got 1 over 11. And then inside the matrix there, remember what we multiply by back on the original matrix, we had 2, negative 3, 1, 4. So we're going to swap out the 2 and the 4, and we're going to change the signs for the negative 3 and the 1. So we did. We swapped out the 2 and the 4, and then negative 3, we changed to positive 3, positive 1, we changed to negative 1. And now we're going to multiply each of those little elements times 1 over 11, because the 8 minus negative 3 is 11. And so we get 4 elevenths, 3 elevenths, negative 1 eleventh, and 2 elevenths. So we're going to multiply the matrix of constants by A inverse on the left. And you don't have to keep showing that you do that um, to the left-hand side of the equation because A inverse times A is always going to be the identity matrix. The identity matrix times the X matrix is always going to be the X matrix. So you can just show X equals A inverse times B. So we're going to have 4 elevenths times uh, 4 elevenths, 3 elevenths, negative 1 elevenths, 2 elevenths times 19, um, negative 7. Okay, so they don't show a lot of work here, so I'm going to talk you through it. I want you to go ahead and stop, pause the video, and do the matrix multiplication, and then we'll check it. Okay, so doing the matrix multiplication, doing the first row times the first column, you have 4 elevenths times 19, that gives you 76 elevenths. And then plus 3 elevenths times negative 7, that's going to give you negative 21 elevenths. So 76 elevenths minus 21 elevenths is going to give you 55 elevenths, which reduces to 5. Now let's do the second row times our only column there. Negative 1 elevenths times 19 is negative 19 elevenths. 2 elevenths times negative 7 is negative 14 elevenths. Negative 19 elevenths minus 14 elevenths gives us negative 33 elevenths, which reduces to negative 3. So that's where they get the 5, negative 3. So our answer, our final solution is the ordered pair 5, negative 3. Okay. Now, let's look at a word problem. Oh, and again, the way before we look at the word problem, the 5, negative 3, you can check by plugging into both equations and making sure you get a true statement. So 2x minus 3y equals 19. We're going to have 2 times 5 minus 3 times negative 3. So 10 minus negative 9. So 10 plus 9 is 18. Then we do, so 10 plus 9 is not 18. 10 plus 9 is 19. And so 19 equals 19. So we're good to go. And then we're going to plug in the 5 and the negative 3 into x plus 4y, and hopefully we'll get negative 7. So 5 plus 4 times negative 3, so that's 5 minus 12, which is negative 7. So um, the solution works in both equations, so we're good to go. Now we're ready for example 5. I was getting excited. A company sells three types of movie gift baskets. A basic basket with two movie passes and one package of microwave popcorn costs $15.50. A medium basket with two movie passes, two packages of popcorn, and one DVD costs $37. A super basket with four movie passes, three packages of popcorn, and two DVD costs $72.50. Find the cost of each item in the gift baskets. So we want to find the, the um, cost of a movie pass, the cost of a microwave popcorn, and the cost of a DVD. All right, so let's do verbal models. So... If you look here, they counted the number of movie passes and the number of popcorns and the number of DVDs in each of the different baskets and then multi and, um, did however many were in that basket. So they've got two times a movie pass plus the cost of popcorn equals the cost of the basic basket, two times the cost of a movie pass plus two times the cost of popcorn plus the cost of DVD equals cost of medium basket, four times the cost of the movie pass, plus three times the cost of popcorn, plus two times the cost of DVD equals the cost of the super basket. So now instead of having words, we just need variables to represent the cost of the various things. All right. And in the case of the total basket cost, we can actually plug in a number. 
So 2M, M for movies, plus, or movie pass, plus P for popcorn equals 15.50. 2M plus 2P plus D for DVD equals $37. There's equation two. And then 4M plus 3P plus 2D equals 72.50. So there we've got a nice system of equations and we're gonna um, solve this using matrices. So let's go ahead and figure out what our A matrix is, what our variable matrix is, and what our um, B matrix is, our constant matrix. So for our coefficient matrix, our matrix A, in the first equation we use the 2 from the M, the 1 is the coefficient of P, and then there are 0 D's there, there aren't any, so we put 0 in for D. Then the second row is going to be 2, 2, 1, because D has an understood coefficient of 1. And for the third row, we look at the third equation and do 4, 3, 2. Now, our variable equation, it, which we can still call x, even though it's not x, y, z, is going to be the column matrix with our variables in it, so m, p, d. And that's going to equal our totals, our constants. So 1550, 37, 72, 50. Okay, let's go look at how to do that on, with our calculator. There we go. Um, remember you want to take your coefficient matrix and find the inverse. So we're going to do 2, 1, 0, 2, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, and then that's to the with a superscript of negative 1. We want the inverse of it. If you so then we're going to put in our matrix B because we want A inverse times B. So we go back to the little matrix thing and we tell we get, click on the 3 by 3 one, but this time we want three rows in just one column. And we put that in. So we've got A inverse times B. We press enter and we get 7, 1.5, and 20. So that tells me the first the first entry in my answer goes with M, the second entry goes with P, and the third entry goes with D. So that tells me that a movie pass costs $7, a popcorn costs $1.50, and a DVD costs $20. Now, if you need to review how to enter a 3x3 three three matrix and get its inverse, go back to the first video, and it will show you how to do that. Okay, that actually, actually, it's not the first video, it's the beginning of this video. A example three was at the beginning of this video. So if you need to go back to the start of the video and review how to actually enter the two one zero two two one four three two matrix and get its inverse. Okay. All right, guys. Y'all are ready to try the problems on your own. Go ahead and do that because you've got quite a few new skills here. Okay. And then be ready to do the rounds when we come to class next time. And um, have a good day. I'll see you soon.